Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be working with Doodlebug's Spring Things Paper Pack. I also got the odds and ends, chit chats, and a few other little goodies to make uh, 10 plus cards. Uh, actually I made 20 cards, so we're going to get started with card number 1 and 2. And the way that I set this up was each card, um, just because I had so much stuff in these paper packs and in the odds and ends that I... I would come up with a design and then I would just use different pieces of from the odds and ends and the sentiments to create two cards using basically the same layout. So I'm only going to show one card um, but in the end at the end of each one I'll show you both uh, made using the same layout. So um, I started using let's get to this card just two of my stitched rectangle dies and some of the pattern paper. I also took a piece of the sparkly green paper and just kind of put it behind it and that's um, one of my favorite layouts right there. I love just the simplicity of this and the way that you can just use your ephemera to really like make the card pop so you get that color in the background but it's not like so busy that it distracts from everything else so this is actually one of my favorite layouts and I do use it a few times um, so I used the little boy with the kite and the little bird and um, best day ever was my sentiment and now just to kind of spruce it up a bit I'm gonna do what I do on every single card so I use my Wink of Stella pen and I pick certain spots where I use that. On every card, I use my glossy accents on boots, beaks, and eyes for sure. And then if there's anything metal or glass, I will use the glossy accents. I'm also using um, different Nouveau drops depending on what flowers they are. So for the pink ones right here, I'm using the diamond stickles. And I'm using that for the centers of each one of those cards. And here is the second one using basically the same layout, but this one was the little girl and you're my favorite ant. And then I put the little tiny ant in the front. Super cute. Love these cards. So there's the first two and here's some close-ups. Um, this time I remember to take pictures of everything so you can actually see all the sparkle and shine and the um, glossy accents because, you know, the lighting's not so great where I do my work. So for cards three and four, I decided to do landscape cards using the little houses that came in the odds and ends pack. So I cut out from the green um, sparkly paper, I cut out using a, I think that was a CC Designs um, fence die. Yeah, I can talk. And I'm just going to attach that down in the background. And then again, this is another one where I'm going to keep it real simple. For my piano, my card piano, I'm using a white embossed with little tiny flowers. So it's a white background, but it's got detail to it, so it's not totally uh, plain and boring. And so I'm just going to adhere or pop up. For all of my pop-ups to make them not super, super thick as far as dimensional is concerned, I used fun foam, and I just cut it down to fit on each one of these things. And that's where all 20 cards have um, the dimensional part is fun foam. And for my glue, I used... Um, my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive, and for tape I used my ATG gun because I finally got some refills from my ATG gun. And I'm just going to place all of my little pieces down. For the sentiment for this one, I didn't use what's in the odds and ends except for that little Hello Spring banner, but I used Friends Are the Family, You Pick Yourself, and that came in one of the Doodlebug uh, Flowers stamp sets. So that was one of the sentiments in the stamp set. And I'm just going to use my shimmer pen on my roof lines. I use the glossy accents on the windows. And then I will go through and use this. I think for this one I'm using the new... So on the little potted tree in the background, I'm using some yellow... I think it's called Yellow Bird. And they're Nouveau Glimmer Drops. And that is the other one with the you and me and the same sentiment at the bottom. That's card number three and four. Some close-ups of these. And on to card number five and six. So I'm going to be talking fast, but I I got to get through 20 cards. So I did, it is sped up, and I did cut out quite a bit of, like, the repeating stuff. So pretty soon you won't see me using the glossy accents anymore, the Nouveau Drops, just so that you can, um, we can get through this in less than, you know, an hour. So for this card, um, same for both of them, and this is how my style is. I picked two of the smallest rectangle dies that I have, and I grabbed a couple of the pieces of pattern paper that I thought would go good together. This is one of the stickers that came on a sticker sheet. It just says hello, and I put it off to the side. And now I'm just going to kind of build a little scene on the stitched square white 
popped up panels that I have in the middle. For the first one, I'm going to be using the little turtle with the bird because it's absolutely adorable. And just going to put a little heart, and my for my sentiment, it just says tweet, and then the little hello on the side. These cards come together really fast, so if you're looking for quick, this is definitely the way to go. And then in the little um, pack that I picked up, it had these little brads. So they're chipboard flowers with the sparkly center and they're brads. So on the back, I basically just cut the brad off and stuck a pop-up dot on the back of it. And then I put them at the bottom just to give it a little bit more color and interest. On my turtle, I'm going to be using the glossy accents on his shell and his eyes. And then um, on the birds, I do the beaks and the eyes. And here is my second one, which is You Are My Sunshine. And I use the little hedgehogs and I glossy accented the heart and nose and the eyes. That is those two cards. Now for seven and eight, um, in my stash I had already pulled out, and these are all Simon Says stamp um, cardstock, I pulled out coordinating colors that I thought went well with this paper pack. So um, then once I pulled them out and I cut them down with my stitch rectangle die, I thought, well that's too boring. So I went and took some white splatter and I just took the, it's acrylic, white acrylic paint, and I just splattered it on both of these cards. So there's an orange one and a pink one. And then I used one of my Adventure Edges. And it's supposed to be a cloud, but I use it for bushes, like, all the time. So there's just bushes, and now I'm just going to place down a couple of the flowers from the odds and ends. My little girl is going to get popped up on Fun Foam. And the sentiment underneath is also going to get popped up. And it's a beautiful day is the sentiment. And then up on the top, I also really, put, there's so much odds and ends in these packs um, that I was able to really do a lot on all of these cards, all 20. And I still have a couple pieces left. So I'm popping up some hello. This is just where I'm going to stick down the clouds. The clouds come from a little die that I have from Lawn Fawn. And then the sun doesn't quite fit, so yes, I'm going to cut them in half. And I was cringing the whole time, wondering if it was going to look okay, but it was fine. It worked out pretty good. I think it still came out cute, even though half my son is missing. For this one, um, I'm using the shimmer pen on her, just on her headband. And when you see the close-up, it actually it came out really cute. I wasn't sure you'd be able to see it because it's such a thin little spot, but it actually came out really cute. I also used glossy accents on her. Um, little earrings that she has on, and her rain boots. And then this is the little boy card I made using the same design, but in a portrait instead of landscape. And his is Hello Sunshine. And here's a couple close-ups. The sun and the sunshine on that little boy card came from um, a sticker sheet that was also in the pack that I got. So for these next cards, um, I wanted to, so if you see the sentiment there, it says happy birthday, and I could not figure out for the life of me how to make a cute little pink polka dotted truck full of flowers um, birthday themed. So I went digging through my stash and I had a couple of dies that cut out balloons and balloon strings. Don't know where I got them. I've had them for a while. Probably from CC Designs because it looks like it's kind of stuffed into that same bunch of uh, dies. So I think it's a CC Designs is where I got it. And so I'm just going to attach those to the back of the truck, kind of flying off of the back to give it more of a party themed to go along with the happy birthday sentiment. I also just cut some strips of the patterned paper and a stitched circle with some yellow from my stash. And then put the truck in, and now I'm going to attach the string. I didn't want to use a black string, which I probably should have because you could have been, you would have been able to see it better, but I picked white. And I'm popping up my little balloons. Only two. I know I usually do things in threes, but I couldn't fit three in that little spot, so it, it only got two. I'm just going to fussy around, and then I'm going to use my shimmer pen on my balloons. Some of the flowers, the hubcaps, the light, just a bunch of little places where I thought it would really make it stand out. I'm also going to use glossy accents like I usually do um, on the window. 
think I use it on the headlight and I definitely use it on the tires because whenever I have tires I use glossy accents on the tires too. So just finish this up. It really does make a big difference when you use it on the uh, windows too. When it dries it's awesome so when you see the picture you'll really see it. But here's card one and then this is the other one that I did with that same layout. And love you bunches. You can really see where I use all that stuff on these close-ups. So for card number 11 and 12, these two are my absolute, well, actually I shouldn't say they're my favorite. The frogs are my favorite, but these are my second favorite. So I'm just taking an orange, orange panel from my stash, the white embossed uh, flower paper, and I make a little strip across the bottom. And then I'm just going to place that nice bright patterned paper there over the top. Sorry, I don't want to have to redo my sound, but my puppy is crying at me, so I have to stop and pick him up so I can't see the screen. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know if you could hear him. Hopefully you couldn't. So I got the little wreath, popped it up, put Don't Worry Be Happy, grabbed three of the little bees from the odds and ends, and I'm going to pop them up around the wreath. So really simple card, but really cute. Love it. And then again, I'm going to just go around with my glossy accents and my Nuvo drops. So I'll tell you all the Nuvo drops that I use because they matched really well. So if it had a yellow center to a flower, I used Yellow Bird Nuvo Glimmer Drops. If it had like a white center, I went with the Nuvo Dream Drops, and it was in Supernova. And for the pink, I use the Nouveau Jewel Drops in Honeysuckle. And then anywhere where I wanted a super, super sparkle, I use the Diamond Stickles. So here's close-ups of the bee. Don't worry, be happy. And I believe the other one was the little birdie one. So on to my next set of cards. Again, super simple on the layout. Nothing fancy. Just going to use the cloud paper on the as my piano, some grass, and I used a stitched hill border, and that's my Elizabeth Craft Adventure Edges, and then just some pieces that I'm just going to try to figure out where I want them to go, pop them up, and then place them down. And I, I wanted my tree to not just be hanging out in the middle like that, but the way when I'm playing around with this stuff, some of it is facing certain ways. And so I have to figure out how to fit them on my pages where they're where they're going to look good, but all the pieces around it are going to fit as well, if that makes sense. So even though it kind of looks like he's hanging out in the middle with nothing behind him, I put this little sentiment so it's so very tweaked together underneath him and then put my, my potted plant on that side. Hopefully it kind of balances it out. I think it looks cute, but... Hopefully it balances it out. And you can see these ones up in the corner, those little, they're chipboard flowers with little buttons in them, and I'm going to use one of those as well on this card. I don't use one of those on the other card, the matching to this, but I just felt like once I got to this point that I needed a little more down at the bottom. So I pull off one of those. And I also grabbed another sentiment because I wanted my little bug to have a little heart sentiment as well. Okay, now I'm holding the puppy because he won't stop crying at me. He's mad. I'm not giving him enough attention today because I'm spending too much time editing video. It's okay, Mama. So I'm just going to use my shimmer pen and my drops. Pretty soon I think I cut it out to where I'm not, I'm not making you sit through the complication of all this stuff anymore, but Unfortunately for now, it's still here. Those diamond drops, I forgot about stickles. Um, I don't know why. I have tons of them, but I stopped using them. And then when I started using them again, I remembered why. Because they clog up very easily. But talk about some shine on those. Oh, and I had a little glimmer um, glitter pen explosion, as you can see. So I was trying to mop it up. <laughs> but 
very sparkly, very, very sparkly. But the stickles, like I said, they are super sparkly and I love them. I just have to keep messing with them to unclog them. It's a little bit irritating when you're in a hurry. So for this set of cards is my other favorites, the frogs. I love the frogs. Absolute favorite. So the same, this, these two cards will be laid out the same and I'm just gonna put a stitched rectangle, a yellow piece from my stash, a white, also from my stash, and then the pattern paper across it, just to give it a little bit of color in the back. And then I'm going to use stitched circle dies to do um, the glitter paper. It's um, kind of raised a little bit, so you can't really use tape on it, so I have to use glue. It's kind of like embossed and then glittered, I guess, is what you'd say it was. So I'm going to use glue on this circle to kind of hold it down so it will stick. And then I'll start figuring out where all my pieces are going to go. I think my little plant gets taped or glued down directly to the circle, and then everything else gets popped up. So we're going to glue him down and then we'll pop up our frog in our happy birthday sentiment. So these ones obviously came together super fast as you can see even without the super speed they were pretty quick but I love this one. I think he's adorable. And then to kind of balance it out I put a little green heart on the bottom and a little pink heart on the top. And that will do it for this card. Then, oh no it won't. I have to do my all my extras, so my shimmer pens, and my Nouveau crystal drops, and my glossy accents. I think I did glossy accents on his eyes. Yep, I did. Oh, and on his spots. Getting fancy. And here is its mate. This one is in purple. Same thing, happy birthday. Here's some close ups. Super cute. Those are definitely my favorite. So for card 17 and 18, I used uh, one of my dies with the squares in it. And I did that because I was trying to lay out, um, I don't know really how to explain it, but I had a lot of kind of random extra pieces because now I'm kind of towards the end of my cards. I wasn't really sure how I wanted to lay them out. So I thought, well, we'll do like, like the dating game. <laughs> I don't know if anybody, probably dating myself right now by saying the name of that, but remember how they were all up in squares? Was it the dating game or? Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, one of those game shows where they're all up in squares and they ask them all questions. It kind of reminded me of that. And so I'm just going to kind of decorate, I'm going to use it as kind of a guide to figure out where all my pieces are going to go just to kind of give it, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing, but it came out cute. Even when I don't know what I'm doing, sometimes it just comes out. So I want to put down my sentiment first because I want to make sure that it's going to fit and I'm not going to stick my uh, my little birdie thing in the wrong spot. That's going to end up sliding way down all the way to the line. Luckily you have got quite a bit of time with this glue before it sets up and it's that Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. so. And the amount of time that I put all these guys down, it still wasn't dry yet, so I was able to keep sliding it down and get it all the way down to the line, which is where I wanted it. At least that's where I felt it looked best. And bugs and kisses is my sentiment. So I made sure there was plenty of little bugs on there. A couple of hearts. And then I didn't make you sit through all the accents. You see that? But you'll see them in the close-ups. And that's my You Snailed It is my second one. You can really see where all that shimmer pen is, that's for sure. And now we're on to 19 and 20. So for this one, again, I'm using my clouds. And I use a little scallop die on that, scallop edge die. And again, keeping the background super simple because there's a lot going on on the front. So there's no need to have a lot going on behind it. Just going to place the white one right in the middle and then I'm going to put my window down directly because everything around the window will be popped up. So 
pop everybody up. Little watering can. Again, this is, I'm at the end, so I don't have a lot of odds and ends left. Tons of sentiments left, but not a lot of odds and ends left to, which is the ephemera pack, if you're not familiar with Doodlebug, to finish up my cards. So at this point, I'm just kind of going for it. There's this one all completed. And it's mate. And you can see where I put the glossy accents on the little gardening tools and on the watering can. Here are these close-ups. So anyway, that's my 20 cards using the Doodlebug kit. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I know the weekend is over now, and I will be back to work, so not much more going on for me for a few days. Uh, the next thing will probably be one of the kits, because I think they're all mailing out soon. So that will probably be my next video, will be one of the kits, that sh whichever one shows up first. So again, have a wonderful week, and I will see you again real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.